Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number seven from the Solomon I paper for um, the C4 collection. C4 is now P4 in the new specification. And this is question number five from my end of topic worksheet for my P4 course. Um, and this is the end of topic worksheet number six, which is integration part three. Now it says, when a plague of locusts attacks a wheat crop, the proportion of the crop destroyed after T hours is denoted by X. So X stands for the proportion of crop destroyed after T hours. In a model, it is assumed that the rate at which the crop is destroyed is proportional to X times 1 minus X. Okay, so the rate at which the crop is destroyed, that means that's basically um, the X dt, is proportional to proportional to x times 1 minus x. Okay, that's important for us. A plague of locusts is discovered in a wheat crop when one quarter when one quarter of the crop has been destroyed. Okay, so that's when x equals a quarter. All right, that's so it's discovered when one quarter of the crop has been destroyed and x is the proportion of crop destroyed, so that's when x is equal to a quarter. The proportion of has been a proportion that's destroyed is a quarter. Okay, given that the rate of destruction at this instant is such that if it remained constant, the crop would be completely de would be completely destroyed in a further six hours. So that means the rate of destruction is com is basically constant. It's going to be completely destroyed within six hours. Completely destroyed means x equals one. The proportion of that crop has of the crop is a hundred percent. That's been destroyed. X equals one in the further six hours. Show that dx dt equals two thirds times x times 1 minus x. So first of all, we know that the rate at which the crop is destroyed, the x dt, is proportional to x times 1 minus x. They told us that. Oops. x times 1 minus x. That's what they've told us. Now, if something's proportional to something else, there's a constant of proportionality, which we're going to call k. So it's equal to k times x times 1 minus x. Now, we have to show that k is equal to 2 thirds. Now, what I'm going to do here is because they've told us here that the rate of destruction is such that it will be completely destroyed in the next six hours. And it's if the rate, if it remained constant, it would be. So I'm going to make a little graph here just to illustrate what was happening. So from the point when the, the time is when it's got to a quarter of the crop being destroyed. So I'm going to put X here. X is the proportion of the crop being destroyed. So when the proportion of crop being destroyed is a quarter, when X is equal to a quarter, that's after a certain amount of time. We don't know what that time is. But we know that after six hours, okay, so this is six hours here, 100% of the crop has been destroyed. So the proportion of the crop destroyed is one. Okay, that's like the whole thing, right? So I know that they're saying that the rate of destruction, if it remained... At that instant, if it remained constant, that's when the total crop would be destroyed after six hours. So basically, we know that the gradient of this line, okay, the gradient of this line, which is the change in y, which is one minus a quarter, divided by six, that's six hours. Okay, that's the gradient of this line. Okay, that's the gradient of this, this line. That gives us three quarters divided by six which is 3 quarters times 6 times 1 over 6, sorry, which gives us, that cancels with that, 1 and 2, 1 over 8. So I know the gradient of this graph is 1 over 8. And we know that that is basically dx dt. dx dt is equal to 1 over 8. Okay, so we can say at the point when x equals a quarter, Okay, the gradient of the graph, when x equals a quarter, the gradient at that point is the same all the way through. As it says, it's saying that the if the rate of destruction is the same at this instant and remain constant, the, 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 you know, the total crop will be destroyed. So we can say that at this point, okay, when x equals a quarter, we can say dx dt is equal to 1 over 8. Okay, we can say that because of that uh, reason. So we know that dx dt is equal to k times x times 1 minus x. So we can replace the x dt with 1 eighth, and we can replace x with a quarter. 
1 minus a quarter is 3 quarters there. So we have now 1 over 8 equals 3 over 16 k. Now we can multiply both sides by 16, in which case you'll get 2 equals um, 3k. Therefore, k is equal to 2 thirds. And that's exactly what we had to show. So we know that dx dt is equal to k times um, x, kx1 minus x. Therefore, we've shown that dx dt is equal to 2 thirds x1 minus x. Now, that's a bit of a difficult one, actually, to be honest with you. You have to think a little bit, especially this statement here where it tells you about this is this is the key to be able to answer this question actually here that such that if it remained constant the rate of destruction remains constant that means this is a straight line from a quarter to the time it's completely destroyed that gradient is 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 constant and the gradient at that point is basically the same as the gradient throughout this line and that's the key to working out what the value of k is now that's four marks supposing you didn't get part a it's quite possible that some students wouldn't have thought of that right it's not really a normal type of question yeah um, but we have part b which is worth 11 marks 11 marks now if you can't do part a of a question never just give up and say i can't do part b because i can't do part a now part b is actually just uh you know solving a simple differential equation where we have everything we need then we know that that's two-thirds it didn't say find what k is they told us what k is they had to, we had to show that k is two-thirds and if you couldn't do that we can still use this and proceed and and salvage these 11 marks and just lose four out of the 15 instead of 15 out of 15 marks all right so never ever give up when you see you can't do part a of a question in most cases you'll be able to do part b and c using what they told you to show in part a they've already given you all right so it says find the percentage of the crop destroyed three hours after the plague of locusts is first discovered so here they're saying find the percentage there's another key word here it's not saying the proportion so we're going to find a, x is a proportion not a percentage so we have to change our answer into a percentage in the end so sometimes they trick you with little questions just to take some marks off you you've got to be careful about the wording all right so we got to find um, the the percentage of the crop destroyed three hours after the plague of locusts is first discovered. Okay, now, so what we can do here is we can solve this this equation here. Okay, we can solve this equation here. Okay, so what we have to do here now is you have to solve this differential equation, and we need to um, use some of these values here. So we need to solve this this differential equation we want to find the first of all x um, we want to find x three hours after the plague of locusts has been discovered okay so what we can say is to solve this differential equation dx dt is equal to two thirds times x times one minus x all right so now to solve this differential equation we can integrate both sides by with respect to t so you have dx dt dt equals the integral of we can write the two-thirds outside x 1 minus x dt now these will cancel out bring the x's on one side where it says dx which is this side you've got 1 over x times 1 minus x integrate that side with respect to x and the other side says two-thirds integral of just 1 with respect to t and what I'm going to do is, I always like to put my limits in now. We know that um, the plague of locusts is this. We've got to find the percentage. So let's first find the proportion, x, when um, three hours after the plague is discovered. So when t equals three, we've got to find what x is. Okay, let's say t equals zero, okay, is when one quarter of the crop has been destroyed. We'll start that, take that as our starting point. Okay, the, our starting point is going to be um, when one quarter of the crop has been destroyed and we want to find how much uh, crop there is after three hours. Okay, so we want to find what x is when t equals three, basically. Three hours after, okay, our, um, 
you know, after the plague of locusts is first discovered. So now we're going to integrate this. Now, before we can integrate this, we have to take a little detour and change this into partial fractions. So we have 1 over x times 1 minus x, and that's equal to a over x plus b over 1 minus x. So we can say 1 is equal to a times 1 minus x plus b times x. So we can find the value of x, the so a and b, substitute x equals 0, left with 1 equals, if that is 0, and that is 0, a is equal to 1, and we put x equals 1, we got 1 equals, this becomes 0, because 1 minus 1 is 0, you're left with b. So both a and b are 1, so we can say that, you can say that this is going to be the integral of 1 over x plus 1 over 1 minus x, Integrate that with respect to x, limits x and a quarter equals two thirds, and this is going to be, I'll just integrate this side straight away, that's t and three and zero. So now let's integrate this side, you got, uh, you, let's integrate it first. You got lin of the modulus of x, and you're gonna have the plus the lin of the modulus of one minus x, but I've got to divide by minus one because I have to divide by the differential of what's inside here. The limits are x and a quarter, and this gives us 2 thirds times 3. So it's 2. On this side, you can have 2. So now we can um, just, this is going to become minus. It'll be lin. Now x is going to be something always positive, so I don't need to put the modulus anymore. That's lin x minus lin 1 minus x. And this is the limits x and a quarter equals two. Now I can before I put x in, I can um, simplify this in terms of logarithms. This is lin x over one minus x, and I have x and a quarter as my limits equals two. Now this this will give me lin of x over one minus x minus the lin of a quarter over one minus a quarter, which is three quarters, equals two. That gives me a third. A quarter times four over three divided by three quarters is times four over three gives you a third. So you've got lin x over one minus x minus lin of one third equals two. Now to make this a bit simpler, I can rewrite this as the lin of x over one minus x plus lin of 3 equals 2. I can write this as 3 to the power of minus 1 and then use the power law. So this gives me lin of 3x over 1 minus x equals 2. Now I can rewrite this in index form. This is log to the base e. So e squared is equal to 3x over 1 minus x. I want to find what x is. Once I find what x is, I can then write that as a as a percentage. So now I'll have e squared 1 minus x equals 3x. And um, to find what x is, I can expand this e squared minus e squared x equals 3x. Bring the x's on one side. So I have e squared equals 3x plus e squared x. Take out x as common. So I have x. Well, I have e squared equals x times 3 plus e squared, therefore x is equal to e squared over 3 plus e squared, which gives me, it gives me e squared over 3 plus e squared, which gives me 0 0.7112, 0 0.7112, dot, dot, dot. Therefore the percentage Okay, destroyed is going to be this multiplied by 100%, which is 71.1%. That's a proportion destroyed, and this is the percentage. So there's the answer to this question. Okay, now, yeah, so that's that's part B done here. Okay, now, um, a little doubt that some people might have in this question, um, stemming from the part A and how we worked out what the value of k was. And we worked out that at dx dt at this point was one over eight. Some people would have thought, hold on, if this is a straight line, 
and we want to find the value of x three hours after this point why why can't we go just to you know this is three that's halfway along here so this is going to be a halfway along there so this is going to be halfway between one and a quarter one plus a quarter divided by two gives us the answer it doesn't give us the correct answer why because it doesn't say that um the gradient is constant here okay it's saying given that the rate of destruction at this instance is such that if it remained constant it would be completely destroyed in six hours so basically what they're saying is this is where it ends up but it doesn't mean it was constant between there and there if it was constant okay that's where it would have ended up all right so the, the gradient of the curve at this point is such that if if it had remained constant if the gradient had been the same you know had been constant from this point after six hours it would have been destroyed completely okay so they're not saying that that is a straight line that's not what they're saying they're saying if see it doesn't say it says if it remained constant the crop would be completely destroyed in further six hours so it doesn't say that the the gradient is a straight line here it's just saying that's how we're going to find this basically giving us a way to find the value of k they're saying at this instant the gradient is one over eight it's not saying that that's going to be the gradient all the way through they're saying if, you know that the that if it had remained constant all the way through then after six hours the crop would be completely destroyed okay it's not saying it's going to be completely destroyed in a further six hours okay so that hopefully clears up the doubt of why we can't just take a half of this distance to find the value of x because it's not telling us that it's going to be destroyed in six hours saying the gradient at this point is such that if it remained at that same value it would be destroyed in six hours so we can then work out what the gradient is at that point okay that's a little point that somebody might have a doubt with um, in this question so it's, you've got to think a little bit for about that part at the end all right, so, you know, otherwise, what's the point of giving us this differential equation if it's just a straight line? All right, so there's the answer to that question. I hope that was clear, especially that last part there. Um, as I said, this is a bit of a tough one. That's why I give these Solomon papers um, as practice to, to the students. It helps to prepare them for maybe something that hopefully might be a bit simpler. Um, and the later papers are starting to become a bit more difficult. Um, so hopefully, you know, things like this might be... Um, better for preparation anyway so I hope that was clear other questions from this uh, particular Solomon paper will be um, placed in this region here you can find the link for it in this region here other questions to do with uh, integration and differential equations differential equations over here D uh, integration in general over here you can uh, click this link to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and see you soon